I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Version 9 of the Firebase JavaScript SDK is now generally available. This new version moves from traditional object-oriented structures to a module-first functional format that is optimized for eliminating unused code. The result is significant reductions in Firebase library code in JavaScript bundles, up to 80% in some scenarios, which means quicker downloads for your users. Check out the link in the post to get started on installing and upgrading from the old JavaScript SDK to version 9. In more Firebase SDK news, the Firebase iOS SDK now fully supports Swift Package Manager. This was a heavily demanded feature, and while CocoaPods has provided an easy method for developers to use Firebase libraries, this new update means you can add Firebase to your iOS project without leaving Xcode. To learn more about how to add Firebase libraries to your project using Swift Package Manager, check out the post. Chrome 94 is now in beta and includes several new features. Let's start with the Web Codex API, which provides lower level codec capabilities beyond existing media APIs like HTML Media Element and WebRTC. Next is the Web GPU API, providing modern features such as GPU compute and lower overhead access to GPU hardware for better and more predictable performance. WebGPU exposes modern computer graphics capabilities, including Direct3D 12, Metal, and Vulkan. Chrome 94 Beta also includes scheduling APIs, which allows you to schedule tasks with an OS browser scheduler at three levels of priority, user blocking, user visible, and background. There are a lot more updates for this release. To learn more about them and what I just covered here, check out the post. We recently launched our first 3D model in TensorFlow.js Pose Detection API. 3D Pose Estimation opens up new design opportunities for applications such as fitness, medical, motion capture, and beyond. Take a look at the post to check out an example by Richard Yi that uses 3D motion capture to drive a character animation, and for more details on how to install and use the new 3D model in the TFJS Pose Detection API. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Yes, you're hosting Dev Show. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> <Here we go. laughs>